My thoughts about the clubs closing in Toronto, it's a crying shame. When I was starting out back in 1964, every 100 feet there was a wonderful live venue in this city and they're closing one after another. There's been a concern in Toronto over the last few years that live music venues are a dying breed with places like the Silver Dollar Room closing their doors. Greg Godovitz, who played in the band Gatto and played hundreds of venues across the city, discusses what it was like to play in Toronto during its musical heyday. Hey, you. It was great back then. I mean, there was always something to do. Thousands of clubs. Our band with uh, Gatto, uh, we worked seven nights a week. It was very rare we had a day off. And you could play a different place in this city every night of the week and still draw a full house on Monday night or Tuesday night. Didn't matter about Friday and Saturday. Every night was packed. The live music scene was so vibrant in our city for so many years. And then whether or not people just forgot that, you know, guitar bands, it's, it's like when they wouldn't sign the Beatles, they said guitar bands are on the way out. Well, now we need another great band to spark the enthusiasm for the kids again. This was the place where you came to see country bands back in the day. Uh, I personally never played here because I'm not exactly known as a country guy. Although I was on Heartland. In Toronto, what was one of your favorite venues you guys played? Oh, so many of them. Uh, Gasworks, Larry's Hideaway, Piccadilly Tube, uh, Young Station. There were so many great clubs. Walk on. 